Hello there uh, and welcome to the Lake District. Today we have the Duke of Portland Boathouse. Catch you shortly. So today um, <coughs> I've come to the Lake District, I've actually um, helped transport a dog, a rescue dog up, up here, he's, uh, he's moved up from the south coast down at Hastings, uh, there's a girl been fostering him down there, Rachel, fantastic job Rachel done with, with him, um, and the new owners of it, um, people who've adopted him, live up in Glasgow, they live just on the outskirts, he's got fields, literally just like all this. He's going to have a fantastic time up there. Um, I've brought him up, I met Rachel um, down at Rugby, and I've brought him up and met Neil, the, uh, the new owner at uh, Tea Bay Services, dropped over there. Lovely couple, they're going to love the dog, the dog loves them straight away. So fingers crossed, happy times, happy times. I thought while I'm up here, I might as well come and do some photos. Why not? It's the Lake District. And what a stunning location this is. The uh, Duke of Portland Boathouse. I think that's right. Uh, if not, I'll, I'll put it on up here or down there somewhere. But I'll shoot you the Duke of Portland Boathouse. Uh, it looks fantastic. The sun, the only problem I've got today is annoyed, the sun sets over there. Uh, north northwest and I'm actually looking I'm shooting south but I am hoping that the sky is going to turn a little bit orange maybe pink the the water is just starting to calm down uh, we should get some nice orange or pink glows on the water with the boathouse I'm looking forward to it it uh, what a stunning location some beautiful lighting in all the hills looking down this is, this is actually on um, Ull's Water. It's dead easy to find if you need to find it. Just type in on Google Maps the Duke of Portland Boathouse, Ull's Water, and the sat nav will bring you straight here. There's a postcode that will bring you straight here. Where the boathouse is, there's a layboy <coughs> straight opposite, and that's where I parked. Literally, there's a little track coming down through the trees, or you can walk along the water's edge. Uh, and I am literally 100 foot from the car. Uh, what a place, what a location. I'm going to uh, get myself lined up and find a composition. I am liking these uh, few little stones in the water down here. I've put a polarizing filter on. I'm going to try and take the glare off just in front of the camera and leave the glare looking down the lake. Um, I'll talk you through that when I find a composition. Um, yeah, let's get on with it. Catch you in a minute. Well, I've just moved along just a little. Um, I just think it's a slightly nicer composition. We have a few little rocks just in the water. Um, I'm having to bracket the photos because it's such a vast area of white. The boathouse is looking black and a silhouette on the photos. Um, I will just show you through the composition that I've got on the camera and my settings. So here's my composition. I will just brighten it up so you can see the boathouse in the photo. I'm doing a three shot bracket. Uh, the, first, the first photo is um, two stops underexposed just to get detail in the sky the second shot is at zero and the third one is at plus two stops overexposed just so I've got detail in the in the boathouse um, as you can see there that is two stops overexposed it's still dark in the corner so I might have to change and just overexpose just a little tiny bit more as it gets darker, I'll probably have to go a little bit more again. Um, but I'm loving all the light on the hills. Let me just turn that down a fraction. 
I've got these stones in the foreground in the water I've polarized just so I can see the detail in the water right under my feet uh, there's some stunning light on the hills and there's this little tiny bit of orange coming in the sky to the south uh, looking on the camera it does look like I'm just starting to go a little bit orange round by the pier on the boathouse my settings are let me just have a look what I've got we have we're shooting at f11 wait for these cars to go past I'm shooting at f11 I'm at ISO 100 um, again I'm shooting in aperture mode because I don't need to control ISO and shutter speed um, I'm on a tripod a sturdy tripod there's no ripple on the water so there's no vibration anywhere so all I've done is I've set aperture priority I've set the ISO to 100 I've set my aperture to f11 it's sharp sharp on this lens um, I have focused on the boathouse because that is the one thing that I want focused sharp uh, the rocks in the foreground I'm not bothered if I'm a little bit soft uh, the the idea is to focus on the boathouse this is the subject it's beautiful and we should get the detail in the uh, in the mountains and the hills going down as well it's absolutely beautiful so where I've come up to today I've, I've dropped this dog off at Tea Bay and this is literally 20 minutes away from Tea Bay services and where I got off the motorway at Penrith it took me I think it was six minutes so if you, anytime you're going up towards Scotland or coming down from Scotland uh, jump off at Penrith and just follow the signs for all's water uh, and you come straight to this you're right on the road absolutely beautiful place I'm going to take a couple of photos now and just dial in my settings um, and I'll put the photos on at the end of the video just show me composition now I've turned the camera to vertical and I'm now going to do a panorama uh, probably six shots I'll just talk you through what I'm doing that'll be the first shot again I've polarized just for the detail down under my feet that'll be the first shot second third fourth fifth I'll probably finish on the shoreline get back on again just there for the sixth shot um, there's a, a few big waves just coming so I'm just waiting for the water to calm again and I'm going to take the shot again I'll put this on at the end of the video settings are the same uh, ISO 100 and F11 uh, we've got to be getting close to sunset now there's little bits of orange and pink coming in the sky so hopefully we should get some 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 lovely color shortly well we've hit sunset um, it's now quarter past eight the sun has set over there um, as you can see in the sky there's not a lot happening there is a little bit of pink in the distance in the south um, it may may boost up it is uh, the underexposed shot that I've took you can see the pink and the, the slight purple haze in the water and in the sky so add a little bit of vibrance in uh, photo shop and we may just get it out um, the midges because we're close to water are driving me bonkers they're biting and they're stinging I've got lumps on my neck already damn things I don't, what, what, what purpose do they serve midges I don't know it's they're crazy they're crazy I've just been talking to a couple they've actually rented out the boathouse and they're staying here tonight um, I don't know if it's on Airbnb or whatever if you fancy a night or a week staying in that what a stunning location just just look at the lake all the way around and to stop in that boathouse oh, 
incredible, incredible. It looks absolutely picturesque. I'm going to give it just a few more minutes. Uh, I may just hang on probably 10 minutes actually, see if I can get a nice blue arrow shot. Um, actually I can just see in the distance now, there are some pink and purple blows just coming in the distance. So I'm just going to take this shot. There is just a couple of pink pink streaks in the sky. Uh, we may actually get a little bit of colour after all looking at it. Let me just have a quick look on the screen. Yeah, I'll just show it on the camera. You can just see just little bits of pink. If we zoom in. Let me zoom in. And there we have a few bits of pink and purple just coming. So all may not be lost yet. All may not be lost. Uh, I'm going to put the GoPro down. I'm going to take a couple more shots. I will hang on, I think, for Blue Hour. Uh, it's pretty much going to be about 15, 20 minutes. And while I'm here, I may as well. I've got a four hour drive back home. So I might as well make the most of it while I am here. I'm just going to take that shot again. The pink and the purple are developing now. So if it does come out any good, I'll put it on at the end of the video. I love it here. I love it. Well, that's it for me for tonight. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to see me that well on the uh, GoPro now. I've just done, I finished off with a, a, a pano in blue hour. As you can see, it's nice and blue now. Um, it's just taking the last shot now. Again, the settings have been the same all night, really. F11, ISO 100, and whatever shutter speed comes up with the camera. Um, I don't need full control, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, I've had a great night. Um, well worth the trip here. I'm really pleased I've come just to see it. It's absolutely beautiful. The, the, the winds drop right off, as you can see. It's got a beautiful flat calm water, a lovely reflection of the blue sky. It's incredible. I've had a fantastic time. Uh, not to say it, the least with the, uh, the dog, the rescue dog today as well. Uh, he's gone to a fantastic home. I hope all's well with Neil and, and his wife and, and the kids and the dog. Um, he's such a sweet little thing. I should put the videos on now. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. That way you get notified uh, every time I put a video on there. I should, it's probably pretty much going to be every week now. Uh, thanks for watching and here are the photos. Thank you.